Hello, I am Gary Brantner of Rent Arb Studios Comics, and this is my show where I talk about the things I've read, things I've backed on Kickstarter, where you can get these comics, what I've got in my mail, all sorts of fun stuff. So, first up, we have a comic that I backed on Kickstarter called Touching Evil. This is Volume 2, it's hardback, and uh, it is by Dan Doherty. It is an amazing story. Uh, this totally should be a uh, a TV show or a movie. It is about a lawyer named Ada who uh, who gets this disease, this curse of whoever she touches and is evil instantly goes to a purgatory in her head and uh, it's some really cool stuff. It's an amazing story and uh, I'm so glad I backed this on Kickstarter because man it is an amazing read. Um, so this one takes place uh, in a lot, mostly in New Orleans, um, where there is a convict who is running around with her finger, and he's touching people that he's getting who have wronged him. He's getting even with them, and they're going. He's sending them to this purgatory in her head because even just with her finger alone is uh, enough to do the curse. It is amazing. Um, my name is on the thank you page here. Let's see here. Where we got? Yeah, I even got my name on this thank you page, so I'm so glad that I backed it. This is Gary Brantner of Rent Arb Studios Comics. That's me. On if you want to find me on Kickstarter, that's me, Gary Brantner of Rent Arb Studio Comics. And uh, yeah, Touching Evil. Um, I found Dan Doherty's work through back when I had an Instagram. I found his Beardo posts that he would do and uh, one day he posted that he was doing a Kickstarter for Touching Evil Volume 1 and 2. So I got Volume 1 and 2, both in hardback. Um, very awesome books. So glad I did that. Um, the art in here is amazing. He does the art and the story all by himself. And uh, let's see, the find the credits page though. Let me see here. Yeah, story and art and letters by Dan Doherty. Colors are by a variety of different people. Uh, Canilla Tripp, Milena Denon, Sean Seal, Wesley Wong, and Emily Zalask, and Tom Art and Tom Kelly did some cover art and yeah, that, that's pretty much it. Um, so yeah, uh, he he writes the stories, he draws it, and each one is colored by different people. But it is some amazing stuff. I love it. Uh, flashbacks are done on a little bit of a, a grainy kind of crinkled paper look, so that's kind of cool. And yeah, it's an amazing story. It should. This should definitely be made into a TV show. Um, so check out Touching Evil. Um, you could probably find your own copies of it. Who, let's see, who makes this? Source Point Press does this. Um, Source Point Press has done co a couple things that I've backed. I'm not sure right off the top of my head, I think. Um, Destiny New York might be one of them from there. That's um, yeah, so check out Touching Evil, find Dan Doherty on your social medias, and find out where you can get this at Soul Source Point Press. Beardo Comics is another thing you can Google to find it. So check out Touching Evil. That came with a really cool sticker that I stuck to my laptop, and a thank you note. And let's see, what else have I reviewed? This is one... Somebody uh, reached out to me on social media to uh, check out The Table. I read it entirely digitally on my phone. And uh, The Table is by Gustav Aldofo, who is uh, from Guatemala. And let's see here. Find it. This comic book is done entirely in uh, flats which means that 
Uh, it is colored, and then they took the lines out. There's an awesome page right there. And here's another awesome page right there. So, let's see here. So the table by Gustavo Adolfo, a Guatemalan, and uh, it is written very well and it kind of in an interview style. Uh, one of the characters is in being interrogated in a prison by a priest and uh, so it has a very aftermath kind of feel like uh, you're you're coming on to it afterwards. Uh, it's about a war that takes place between uh, well these kids are caught in the middle of this and so there's the war of the uh, the national army against the uh, guerrillas and uh, these kids are caught in the middle of it where uh, they keep seeing the aftermath from the soldiers and from the guerrillas and so they're they're tired of all this so they decide to make their own faction to go after both groups and try and stop the war and it, it was done really well uh, the flat art style worked for it it wasn't entirely in grayscale there were as you can see in, by my pages that uh, there there are some colors that pop here and there and uh, I think overall it was a really cool story check that out uh, find I don't know where you can find it let's see here how did I find it sorry I'm still a little unprepared for all this here we go um, it is at zigmacomics.com slash the table so that's that's where you can find that oh come on Let's see zigmacomics.com the table um, I don't know if you can read that but it's z-i-g-m-a comics.com slash the table pretty easy uh, check that one out. Gustavo did an excellent job writing that. Uh, the writing was very strong and uh, it, it was a good story overall. I had a hard time not put uh, putting it down and getting to work and all that fun stuff. I was reading it during my breaks and he, uh, yeah he reached out to me on Facebook and oh sorry shaking shaking. He reached out to me on Facebook said anybody want to read my comic and I said yeah I'll read it and I'm glad I did I checked it out it was really cool so the table on uh, zigmacomics.com check that out by Gustavo Aldofo and uh, what else that's so that's all that I've read lately now I'm going to get into what's on Kickstarter where's my Kickstarter at Alright, so Kickstarter Comics. Do, 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 do. Kickstarter Comics. It's my favorite place to get comics right now. Um, it's from the Kickstarter since uh, some of the best stuff is coming out of Kickstarter. And uh, right now on Kickstarter, check out Palmiato and Johnson's Pop Kill Volume 2 or Issue 2. It is ending on August 29th so you better act on that quick what day is it today I don't know um, it's, it's soon I know that much um, so yeah check out pop kill number two it is adult themed and it, it is about um, two different soda pop companies that uh, are actually trying to kill each other they're Siamese twins that have been separated and now they hate each other the art is amazing looking and uh, yeah, August 29th, so you better act on that one fast if you want in on that one. Miskatonic High 8, you have till September 3rd. As you know, um, Miskatonic High is one of my favorite reads. It is by uh, Mike Shea and Ryan Mendoza. Very good stuff um, about a bunch of high schoolers in detention, and then they end up into all this different paranormal mess that they have to figure out each together. Each one has a different 
storyline going each issue focuses on a different character and what they have to deal with so it's pretty cool stuff um, there are already eight issues, issues into it and one volume uh, I recommend checking out the volume I'm a personally I'm a trade fan so that's but I've got all the single issues and the trade but whatever um, so yeah Miskatonic High 8 is on Kickstarter till September 3rd get on that one fast for goodness sake volume 2 is on Kickstarter till September 3rd as you know I read uh, for goodness sake volume 1 recently I uh, loved it and loved it so much that I instantly went on to Kickstarter and backed it to where I'm getting the pins and the volume 2 uh, last time I got volume 1 and stickers I'm a big fan of stickers and pins so that one's a cool one to back Half Past Danger is on there till September 3rd also uh, Half Past Danger I was listening to the off-panel po off podcast on my way to Plasma and uh, I enjoyed the interview so much that I just had to get on there and back Half Past Danger it sounded really cool so I jumped in on that one fast and so check out Half Past Danger by September 3rd Starlight uh, 2 is going till September 24th personally I have Starlight Volume 1 or issue one that I backed on Kickstarter it's in my read pile that'll be my next review so I'm backing to uh, in case I like it who knows uh, it's in my read pile it is next I bumped it up to number one so that I can read it and know if I like it enough to want to so get on Starlight 2 by September 24th and now I'm going to Indiegogo I know I don't usually back things on Indiegogo, but uh, I think that was the only place you could find this one. The Tita Awakening is by Marcel Dupree and Josh Metzger, which uh, I like their stuff that they've backed done on uh, Le Fay. And I think there's other stories I've backed by them. Um, Babylon Working I've backed by them, but I haven't seen that one yet. It's still in the mail sooner or later. And uh, let's see what's yeah, Le Fay. Le Fay for sure is uh, one that I've been enjoying from them. I think they have a hand in Love University, but I don't, I can't remember right now. It seems like they did. And uh, yeah, so I'm backing Vatita Awakening on Indiegogo right now. Uh, I have no idea when that ends because Indiegogo, I'm unfamiliar with it really. I've backed probably a total of six things on there not sure and uh, right now another thing on Indiegogo is she she is one I backed on Kickstarter it's got an awesome hardcover it's a die-cut hardcover so it opens and it's got this vellum thing going on here uh, so this is on Indiegogo right now you can get this for yourself it is a little taller than a regular comic book it is awesome is I haven't read it yet it's in my read pile next also so after I read Starlight I'm going to be reading She and then I'll be, I'll be reviewing those soon so that's the end of my Kickstarter news now on to the mailbox 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 what is in my mailbox I got a pin in the mail you know I love pins so I found this pin on uh, Wish yeah I think it speaks for itself and uh, that's gonna be a fun one to be wearing especially in the coming days you know with all the uh, voting and fun stuff going on next what I got in the mail is a Wild Cosmos number two now uh, I backed Wild Cosmos on Kickstarter so I I'm glad I got this one in the mail the first issue was actually a uh, bigger sized but now they're going down to the standard size for issue 2 so Wild Cosmos issue 2 going in the read pile and let's see what else I've got in the mail Palomino from uh, from Stephen Frank Stephen Frank does a comic that I like called Silver it's about vampires and uh, 
This is Silver Volume 4. I got it with Palomino. Uh, I backed it at that level. And um, also I got Hollowed. Hollowed 1 and 2. It is about some detectives that, well, I don't know what it's about yet. I haven't read it. It's in my read pile now. Uh, and Hollowed came with a sticker. Whoops, I dropped it. But So Hollowed 1 and 2 go into the read pile. And uh, Palomino and Wild Cosmos. I'll go into the read pile soon, but next up on my read pile, I'm going to be reading Starlight and She. So I will get with you as soon as I read those. Thank you for watching Rentnarb Studios Comics. Uh, you can find me as Rentnarb on most of the socials. I'm not on in the on Instagram, but you can find me on Twitter and Facebook as Rentnarb. And I barely ever use DeviantArt anymore, but I'm on there also. Anywhere you find Rentnarb Studios and that green alien, that's me. So check me out. I'm on Redbubble as Rentnarb Studios or Gary Brantner. I'm sure if you Google Rentnarb Studios, you'll find me all over the place. So uh, thanks for watching Rentnarb Studios. If you have a comic you want me to read, um, email me at peterpanthevampire at yahoo.com. Oh, that's a phone timer. Shoot. Um, yeah, email me at peterpanthevampire at yahoo.com. If you want me to read a comic just like uh, Gustavo did, I, I'm open to reading your things. Uh, I'll talk about them, tell you what I think about them, and all that fun stuff. So, yeah. And let me know about your Kickstarters. I'll tell people about your Kickstarters also. And uh, that's it for today. Goodbye.